Kitchen Now with Donal, and uh, he's making another family favourite. Well, all the mm -hmm. stuff you do is so sort of easy to make, nice family meals. What you got for us today? We have a delicious chicken and gnocchi dish. It's nearly one pan. It's close enough. Okay. <laughs> but it's very tasty. So where do you begin? So to kick it off, we're going to make up a very simple paste. Now, this is a top tip if you're at home and you want to inject your boring old chicken breast with a bit of flavour. So sea salt on some garlic and you're going to mash that down and oh, basically wow. just keep pressing that against the salt and you get this paste that's really quite astringent, you know, it's quite sharp in terms of flavour and that with your chicken and a bit of rosemary which I've chopped up. Oh, I like that. Just instantly. simple. It's a simple little tip and you can uh, get them into the frying pan and that flavour that you're going to get from the rosemary, the garlic, it's absolutely wonderful. How many cloves? Are you just doing the one? Just one is fine. If you want to go more, absolutely go for it. Um, I've chopped up the rosemary. It tends to be quite woody so give it a chop before you yeah. mash it in, but it's ultimately you'll get left with this really nice, um, very uh, aromatic paste that and goes that, And I imagine you can actually pop that on quite a few things. It goes beautifully on pork, it goes beautifully, yeah. you know, it's, so it's a really... We a bit stick it on the weed a bit <laughs> with a bit of milk. Be gorgeous. Uh, so anyway, once you've made your paste, you're going to get in there with some lemon zest as well. And this kind of vibrant sort of uh, power punch of flavour is going to get on your chicken, spread it over the breasts, and then get it in the pan. Now, because this is a sort of a one pot dinner essentially, we're going to get our gnocchi in to cook. So this, the beauty of these is that they only take about three to four minutes. So normal pasta, nine to ten, nine to ten, eleven, but twelve you, minutes. You, those are bought. You don't have to make them. You Shop buy off. them. Yeah, yeah. If yeah. you want to make them, it just takes takes a whole other bit of time. Oh, Who wants life's that? Life's too short. Life is too short. However, having said that, sometimes gnocchi can be like hard little... Little bullets. Lumps. Yes. Yeah. Now, if you aren't a gnocchi fan, we were talking about this but, uh, but, uh, earlier, basically, you can pan fry gnocchi straight from the packet as well. Add a little splash of water, pan fry it, and you get these gorgeous crispy bits. So they're like little potato nuggets, essentially, in the oh, pan. Yeah, I prefer, that sounds I amazing. I that, that might sell it to you. Okay, Grant. So when you have your gnocchi in, and, you know, the beauty is it just cooks so quickly, make sure your pasta water is, is quite salted, heavily salted. While that's cooking, you're going to crack on with the rest of the dish. So your chicken is in, it has all that flavour going on. Mm. We're going to create the sauce that brings this whole thing together. And like I said, this is a really simple family meal, so it's only a handful of ingredients. Tomatoes form the base of this. If you don't have fresh tomatoes, stick in a tin of uh, any chopped tomatoes Anything, and you're yeah. fine. So uh, pop them in and what'll happen as they cook, we're going to turn the chicken and kind of, I would get the chicken to the point where it's browned on one side. Oh, look at that. Turn it over, get your tomatoes in and literally just cook it very gently until your tomatoes start to cook that down. It looks happy. It looks can. happy, doesn't, doesn't it? it? <laughs> You've definitely been on holiday. Holidays. I can tell there's a, there's a joy in this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not worried about the tomato skins either. They're okay. Oh, it's fine. Yeah. You're gonna, you know, it's a rustic, ready-to-go dinner. So you're gonna, you know, go go for it. Now, with this, I think the core ingredient is lots of butter. As an Irishman, I always like a bit of butter in there. So um, butter goes in, and you're gonna kind of, essentially, you're gonna get this lovely sort of nutty brown effect mm. in with the tomatoes. It's all gonna be really tasty. So let that cook down, mm. and what happens essentially is you get left with this sort of brown butter, tomato, chicken concoction oh in one pan that is so easy to do and the beauty of this is that not only could you do this with tomatoes gnocchi and chicken that look good. you like him this looks yeah. nice i always worry phil when you come over to have a have a look now <laughs> is it actually no, decent anything. looking <laughs> we're sort of getting used to being allowed over i, I know. forget i can come and have a good old look yeah yeah normally you it was over, so there. over there it was over you know, there you know where it lets us down though do it being able to come back into the kitchen can't eat anything normally in the old days in the old covid days we'd have to sit over there we be separate but we were given the dish beforehand and we could eat it throughout the entire item. We never paid yeah. attention to anything. <laughs> Actually that's true. <laughs> I know. Normally you're completely distracted and I'm just let loose. Now we've got to now, wait. Okay right so we've, we've, we're cooking away, we're cooking away. So um, your gnocchi's gone in. Once it's come to the boil you can see here the way to know gnocchi is cooked is that it will come to the, the top like that. It simmer. tells you. It tells you. It whispers in your ear I'm done and you get it into Aww. the pan in happy days. Now finishing touches at this point your chicken should be nicely cooked. At least three to four minutes either side of your chicken just to make sure it's cooked through. Top tip if you want an e even speedier version of this. I, sometimes for the kids I'll butterfly the uh, the breast and then oh, you yeah. cook it really quickly so it's handy. Um, now, the finishing touches, I'm going to grasp for some basil over there. Uh, we're going to finish it off. It's really simple to do. Um, the great thing here is that, like I said, it's quite adaptable. So if you wanted, you could go in there with you could take this in the direction of a sort of a creamy mushroom dish if you wanted. So fry off your mushrooms alongside your chicken, add a little bit of cream and you've got a creamy it's chicken mushroom dish. Instead of the tomatoes. Exactly. So That's really, good. really adaptable. So stir that basil through it really does make a difference i know people kind of think it's just a garnish but that flavor you're going to get mm, from the basil tomatoes. tomatoes works a treat so uh, let's get our bowls over and let's serve this up absolutely gorgeous uh, right, so bowls in. Um, now, the great thing in it is that, like, this is a one-pan dinner, so you're bringing it straight to the table, minus the one that you've cooked the gnocchi in. But 
ultimately you've got something that can come straight yeah. to the table and keep everyone happy. Um, basil, finishing touches, and then a little bit of pecorino cheese is what you're after here. Um, really, really simple. And like I said, if you want that gnocchi to be pan fried, you've got something that's delicious. And, and why pecorino. pecorino then? Do you put? Could you put parmesan? Parmesan is perfect same, in there. Same. Yeah, I mean pecorino. It's that beautiful sheep's yeah, milk it's cheese. So it's a bit sharper and it's a bit cream. You know, yeah. it's got that creaminess to it. Um, I think with the sweetness of the tomatoes, it just works really well. Mm. Look, straight in there, Phil. I love it. I love it. Let's see if we win you over with gnocchi. <laughs> Uh, there you go, Holly. Thank you I'll give very you a much. little bit of Parmesan as well. So what did you do? Just sprinkle it on? Sprinkle a bit of Parmesan. And like you said, like I said, at the end, you can throw in a bit of... Oh, my of, gosh, um, that looks so nice. Ooh, look at that. that Tell you, a bit, so bit of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil if you want at the end, but there's plenty of butter in there. So That's very good. simple. Really, really good. What do we mm. think? Has it won you over on gnocchi? I love yeah. that garlic and rosemary. That, you've just cut into that chicken... You can really taste it. Isn't it simple, you know? And the thing is, you could, if you wanted to get ahead, you could marinate that chicken with the garlic and rosemary and you'll get even more flavour injected into mm. the chicken. So it's, it's worthwhile getting ahead and, and planning it out, you know? And the gnocchi is really good. So could just you... explain, explain the frying of that then in that case, because you, you did that, the frying. that okay. in the pan and waited till it's, it came to the surface and then you know it's done. How, how long do you cook it for if you're going to fry if it? If you want to fry it, you could do it straight from the packet or you could do what I did and then pop it in. But ultimately, if you want to get those really crispy edges to the gnocchi, uh, hand fry it dry in plenty of butter and you'll get crispy edges to your gnocchi and then you can toss it through your tomato sauce with your chicken. Plenty of options. It's a really adaptable dish that really anyone can give a go to. Mm. That I'm going to do. The mash. And I imagine that's good for barbecues as oh, well. Absolutely. Gorgeous on any meat. Really, and good on steak. Really good on steak. Is it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Donald, thank you. Very much absolutely indeed. delicious. Amazing. <laughs> well, for details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from our chefs, download the free This Morning app.